Good I'm job. not a fan of Megan. Yeah. I'm not a fan. And I wasn't right from the beginning. Same I think team. poor Harry is being led around by his nose. Okay. In the tangled web of royalty and political intrigue, a controversial figure finds himself at the center once again. Imagine a prince, ensconced in a land far from his birthright, facing the chilling prospect of expulsion. The looming threat, a former leader's return to power, with vows to strip away privileges and cast out those deemed unworthy. The vow is fulfilled and Harry and his family teeter on the brink. Now for the details. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly worried sick about being expelled from the U.S. if Donald Trump wins the upcoming presidential election. Trump has hinted he might revoke Harry's visa, currently under scrutiny due to his past drug use, which he admitted in his memoir, Spare. Amidst this, Harry and Meghan are preparing a contingency plan to leave the country with their children, Archie and Lilibet, if Trump returns to office. Harry and Meghan are attracting attention with their backup plan to leave the U.S. if Donald Trump returns as president. We need to think about whether they are really afraid of being kicked out of the U.S. or are simply looking to attract attention and complicate the situation. Having a backup plan can be seen as an expression of instability in life management and feeling threatened in an unfamiliar environment. Of course, because they are Harry and Meghan, okay, leaving America is inevitable. There will be no more place for them to live in this world. No matter where they go, they will be hated. The British hate them, they come to America, and the Americans hate them too. Who can accept living under a sky of traitors, cruel, scheming people ready to destroy the whole family? After all, they are no strangers to running away, are they? I'm really pleased to hear that they will take their children, Archie and Lilibet, with them. Previously, they fled the UK. Now they continue to flee, and in the future, they will certainly have to flee many times. In fact, just saying he has a diplomatic visa is hardly going to be accepted. He would have to prove it. A diplomatic visa expires with the diplomatic appointment. Harry never had one, and if he had, it expired long ago. International protected person status is under the control of the United Nations via an international agreement. Nothing a UK court can do will affect the terms of that agreement. Because they were delusional and thought that they would excel in America as royalty. At first it seemed like they were, but we could see the cracks and they grew and grew and grew. Now no two ends meet. The only place Harry knows how to be Harry is here in England. He is doomed to have another rude awakening. Never bless the poor boy. Why do they want to come back to the UK when they said they couldn't wait to get away from the UK? Seems like they've had a change of heart, or maybe their new circumstances aren't as rosy as they'd hoped. Funny how things turn out, isn't it? Perhaps reality abroad didn't quite match their expectations, or maybe they've realized that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. But it's too late to regret now. If I was American, I'd see this as a good enough reason to vote for Trump, then kick Harry and Meghan out of America. After all, if they couldn't appreciate life in the UK and found it unbearable, why should Americans put up with their drama? It's ironic how they fled the royal spotlight only to seek another form of attention. Maybe it's time they find a place where they can settle without stirring up so much controversy. Or perhaps they should just stay put and face the consequences of their constant back and forth. It's clear their saga is far from over. If Harry got deported, which I doubt will happen, I can't see her coming back here with him. She knows what kind of reception she'd get. Maybe they could both go to Nigeria, after all. She calls that home now, or they could go to Lesotho. Harry hasn't shown his face there for years. Couldn't care less if they're booted out of the U.S., so long as they don't come back here. Harry seriously misjudged his importance outside of the royal family where he was cosseted, looked after, and servant, and everything was done for him. Completely at a loss in the real world. Watch a rerun of Queen Elizabeth's funeral service on YouTube and think about what a vile creature Meghan is for all she put the Queen through. As you sow, so shall you reap. Just as Biden's son found out he is not above the law, so should Harry. If he lied on his green card, he would have to suffer the consequences. He is not anyone special and should not receive special treatment. Biden's son faces jail time for lying. Harry could face deportation if he has lied. No one is saying what their contingency plan is, but let's hope it is not to Canada. We don't accept drug users and we don't want them. If they even have the nerve to return, then they return as private citizens. No royal family representation, 
and they pay all their own costs and security. No public purse goodies, especially after what they've done. And they better keep out of sight because their antics have worn thin. The spotlight they sought to escape from seems to follow them wherever they go. It's time for them to take responsibility for their choices and live with the consequences, away from the privileges they once enjoyed. I think it all boils down to Meghan claiming if Trump became president of the United States, she would leave the USA, like a lot of so-called USA celebrities did, except I think none did leave. Harry rubbished the American Constitution by calling some of it bonkers. He belongs to an organization that wishes to curtail free speech in the media, and possibly in the general public. I guess Trump is not a fan of these two, which is an understatement. And I believe if he becomes the President of the United States, he will deal with them. To be honest, this is simple to understand. If Harry was truthful on his green card application, then he has nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Besides, if he lied on his green card application, then he has everything to worry about. Even if Biden wins, he still lied and has to deal with that. Then, the fact that Harry and his wife are making plans tells me Harry did lie on his green card application. Just like Hunter Biden, no one is above the law. Not even Harry. And if Biden's son can go to jail well, Harry can be deported for lying. It can be said that I don't think that they will flee the country like some escaped convicts. She is a U.S. citizen, and if guilty of anything, she is complicit in a crime if she knows that Harry had made a false declaration. If his visa is revoked, he will be allowed to leave. But he must, within a certain space of time, not be arrested and driven to the airport or alternatively fleeing. Moreover, reaction to over-reporting using emotive words for the sake of sensationalism. Of course, there shouldn't be a problem for them to find a country that would receive them with open arms. Nigeria would be an option since she is 43% native to that country. I am sure that Adeta Kunbo would jump at the opportunity to be settling in her own country, and her spare husband wouldn't complain. Like he says, what his wife wants his wife will get. Please do not come back to the UK, as it is already overcrowded with whingers and people that only see the glass being half empty instead of seeing it as half full. Besides, the security that you want to be afforded to you is too expensive. You and your wife aren't that important to warrant the taxpayers footing that bill. Harry might be booted, but his missus won't go. She'll keep the house and kids and live the solo life she craves free from the shackles of the man she broke dragging her down. After all, if they are going to flee, it confirms that he lied on his visa. But I doubt this story is kosher. Trump had a soft spot for our late queen. I remember he was vocal about the content of the Oprah interview, but I do wonder if he really would follow through. I think he likes the thought of making hapless feel insecure and squirm. I can't say I blame him. And the laugh of the day was the statement that Meghan will only come to the UK if she has her own place as she doesn't want to stay with Harry's family. What on earth makes her think that any of the family would want her? Is there something wrong with her brain? No one cares if she wanders around here. Who said Megan needs to come back here? Hope Megan will see this video. Listen, Megan, I and everyone here hate you. Don't ever show your fake face here. I feel so nauseous. If you decide to come back here, wear armor. Piles of eyeless tomatoes will come straight at you, Megan. In the past, Meghan must have seduced and promised Harry many things about a beautiful life in America, far away from England, so that no one would care about their lives. What followed was a series of despicable actions to make money. Now it is a high price worth paying after those series of calculations. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video, and I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.